in the first part of the video we will learn what is HTML and explore all of the HTML tags that are using for creating the website structure and website before starting the video make sure you hit the bell icon and subscribe button so you guys can easily get the notification of my upcoming videos let's start with the HTML what is HTML HTML stands for hypertext markup language it is the that language that understand by the browsers like Chrome, Mozilla and Firefox. With the help of HTML we create and make the structure of our website like paragraphs, headings and images, links, uh, input for like contact form, input fields. HTML consists of series of tags which are used to mark up to or define the content and the structure of a web page html tags are enclosed in angle bracket like this this is the tag name this is the open bracket and in open bracket the content comes like whatever the paragraph heading some of the tags are self closed they don't need to the closing brackets like this and tag name here is this is the closing tag or uh, forward slash you can say and like this if you are using the paragraph it comes this this is the paragraph and this is paragraph close you must open the tag uh, to write something text and heading and then you must have to close the tag uh, before moving to the other line or uh, other tag html can also includes attributes which provide uh, additional information about the element attributes are added to the opening tag and take the form of attribute like uh, this attribute and open the bracket commas and add the value then this and so on so this is the simple definition of html hypertext marker language uh, the language that understand by our browsers let's explore and learn html tags that are used by the website developers or that are required to develop and create your website let's remove this and first of the most mostly used a tag and you guys must include in your web pages or website that is the doc type it is start with the open tag less than sign then explanation mark and type the doc type then html then close the tag the doc type html tag is an instruction to a web browser to identify the document type and version of the html being used on a web page it is typically placed at the beginning of an html document before the html tag the document html doc type html declaration tells the browser that the document is an html5 document it is important to include this declaration as it ensures that the browser renders the document in standard mode rather than quick mode standards mode ensure that the browser display web pages in compliance with current html and css standards then we have a tag of uh, html it is the open tag then we have to close it html like this the root element of an html document it contains all other elements of the doc document and in the html tag we have the option we have a head tag it is the header of the body header of your web page 
it is start with the head and close like this and this element contains metadata about the document including the title links or style sheet and scripts and other information that's not directly visible on the page then we have the option of uh, title title this element specifies the title of the document which is displayed in the title bar of the web browser like your abc website name or like whenever you visit the website on your tab there is a name it is written by the title section then we have uh, our main tag body this element contains the main content of the web page such as text images and uh, other media section like uh, videos audios everything included in body tags then we have headings from h1 h1 is the bigger size then we have the h2 it is the less than the h1 similarly h3 h2 or uh, sorry h4 at 5 and uh, at 6 these elements are used to define headings on a web page with h1 being the largest and h6 being the smallest then we have the tag of paragraph with the tag p this element is used to define the paragraphs of text on a web page then we have a tag anchoring a this element is used to create hyperlinks that allow users to navigate to other pages or locations within the same page or the outside of the page as well then we have the img tag this element is used to display images on web page then we have the ul and uh, ol ul stands for the unordered list or uh, there is another tag is ol this is the order list these elements are used to create an order and order list respectively like you are showing the para uh, bullet points paragraphs like uh, point wise then you have to use this then we have the tag of li li this element is used to define list items with an unordered or order list then we have option of table this element is used to create a table on a web page like you create a web page on word document or excel sheet then similarly we have tr that is the table row this tag is used to define a row within a table then we have td it is the table data and uh, we have another tag th that is t table heading these elements are used to define cells with a table with th being used for header cells then there's another tag of caption uh, this tag is used to add caption to a table then we have a tag of form this element is used to create forms for collecting user input like you have different website when you are ordering on e-commerce website there is also a, a form that is used that is created you with the help of form in form we have the input the text input field or the number input field checkbox and radio buttons this element is used to create input fields with within a form such as text input checkbox and radio buttons and then we have the text area 
uh, this tag is used to create a multi-line text input field with a, within a form then we have the label this tag is used to associate a label with an input field making it e easier for user to understand what information is being requested on the content form or contact us form then we have a option tag like select in select uh, this element is basically used to create a drop down list or within a form for allowing user to, to select a single option from a list of choices then we have the option of uh, option tag this tag is used to define an option with our drop down list in the select option select tag then we have a tag of button uh, this button is used to create clickable button on a web page like contact us submit or uh, learn more contact us about us our services that is button created using the button tag then we have the div it is the start line tag or span it is the inline tag these elements are used to group other elements on a web page then we have like br br used to insert a line break with a block of text then we have uh, hr horizontal line to create in the web pages then we have the tag of style this element is used to define styles for a web page including fonts colors and other visual properties then we have the tag of script basically a script is used to include scripts on a web page like javascript code jquery function like if you are using the bootstrap you have to include the file path of jquery and javascript and its other framework with the help of script tag then we have a tag like link this element is used to link uh, to external resources such as style sheet or uh, other web pages then we have a meta tag uh, meta tag is used to include metadata about a web page such as keywords or description that can be used by search engines to understand the content of the page then there are other lots of tags like uh, header and uh, nav and section article then we have another tag of a side then we have footer then we have main figure fig caption like this these are semantic elements that are used to provide more context and structure to the content of a web page making it easier for each uh, or for easier search engines like if, if write the code and other developer are coming they will understand that this is the header part of your website at the start with the header tag then this is navigation it will start with the navigation then this is the section first section second section like about a section contact a section that's why these tags are used to create different uh, web section pages or of the web website then we have the option of uh, audio file if you want to add audio file you can add it like this then we have a tag of video if you want to add the video then you can add it then we have source 
then we have iframes if you want to embed another web page or other content within a web page you use iframe if you want to add the google map or other map you use iframes then we have uh, more uh, tags embed and uh, we have the canvas then we have uh, svg SVG element is used to create vector graphics on a web page using XML based markup. Then we have a meter progress or block code like this. Block code basically is used to indicate that a block tag is a quotation from another source, typically by intending the text and providing citation then we have uh, also the i tag to make your font or text uh, italic in the paragraph then we have bold as well like this if you want to focus or uh, make a text darker and bold you can use the b tag then we have uh, abbreviation tag this tag is used to indicate an abbreviation or acronym within a block of text typically by providing a full explanation with the user hovers over the abbreviation with the mouse. Then we have uh, strong, small, mark, summary like uh, strong. It is this element is used to indicate that a block of text of higher importance of emphasizes than the surrounding text. This is the most commonly and basic you can say the tags that are required or used by the developers to create the website's structure. And that's it for this video on HTML and its tags. Uh, I hope you found this introduction or video helpful in understanding the basics of HTML and how it is used to create web pages. HTML tags are the building blocks of web pages and there are many different tags you can use to structure and style your content. By mastering HTML, you will have the foundation you need to create beautiful functional websites. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel Coding with Vakar for more web development tutorial and tips. We will see you in the next video.